<laughs> Don't say that. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here we are. Welcome to Farmhouse Fabrics with um, Sally and Diana today. Mm -hmm. And we have Emma and Michelle in the background helping us along our way, yes. don't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we need a lot of help. Yeah, we need a lot of help. That's right. <laughs> so um, we, we told you on... Oh, I know. It was yesterday. It wasn't Friday. It was yesterday. <clears throat> We're letting you know that now that school is back in session mm -hmm. and Kristen is a homeschooling mama. And so uh, Kristen will only be able to be with us on Friday. And so we are working on maybe not having Tuesday Facebook Live um, starting in September. And so uh, anyway, you you can uh, bear with us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Working out the kinks a working little bit. Working out the kinks. Yeah. Working out the kinks. Work in progress. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Work anyway, we have a lot of fun things for you today, and um, and a, some of them are triggered by by things that our friends and customers have done, and this mm -hmm. these are some cute, cute little stuffed uh, teddy bears that Abby Wilkinson has done, and you can find Abby on Instagram at Abby D. Wilkinson, and mm -hmm. then her Facebook page is um, dressthemdearly.com. Mm hmm Aren't they cute? They are They're cute. They're so cute. They are. So it made me think of this bunny that, um, I mean, I, I'm trying to think how old. It's, it's at least 40 years old because years ago when my kids were little, um, there was a store in Augusta called Peace Goods. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of Peace Goods? Mm -mm. Oh, Been gone. I remember that. You remember Peace long. Goods? Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were in a, a place called Daniel Village. Mm -hmm. And I just so happened to meet the, the young lady that was the uh, manager of that store was um, Sherry Snyder. And Sherry and her husband were in the area because her husband was in radio and so they were in the area for a while and Sherry taught me how to smock. Now some of you out there know Sherry because she's she lives in the um, Frederick, Maryland area. Okay. And, um, She's very, very gifted and talented, and she's got she's got grandkids now. Aww. How about that? We were both <laughs> young back then. We were all young yeah. back then. <laughs> but anyway, she had me make this as a model, Aww. like a model garment for okay. Peace Goods. Yeah. I think it's the first time I ever sewed with any, any um, long hair fur. Yeah. But I was just showing Diana that when I pulled this guy down. All of all of this guy, even though he looks textured, was all made from the same length mm -hmm. of fur, mm -hmm. and so you just you just trim it in certain areas. And now probably this pattern is not available anymore, but but there are lots of stuffed animal patterns, okay. and even at um, yard sales uh, and thrift stores. Yes. And Christy Christy G, who's our thrift store mm -hmm, queen, mm -hmm. she found. She found this one that Abby did with the teddy bears. She found that at the thrift store. How about that? And it was a vintage one. So anyway, you can find these. They're so cute. I'm going to show you some fur. Back here, we have... <laughs> Get ready, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure. Would you call that a skunk? I mean... <laughs> It looks kind of skunky, It right? does look skunky. I'm going to move this because we made the mistake of um, yeah, trimming cutting it. on it earlier. But if you ever want to sew on fake fur, we're just about ready. to. We have a whole corner of, mm -hmm. don't we have a lot? Over, yeah. On those shelves. Of lots of fur. Yeah, lots mm -hmm. of real different kinds. Yeah. But get inspired and make something like this. Look how many years it lasted through lots of kids and grandkids. But it's really not hard to work with, even if you're making like a jacket. So, where do where we do? What you have to do to keep all this hair from going in a seam and getting caught up in a seam and looking, looking like this is to actually trim it. I'm going to move this over there and maybe we can go to overhead. Okay. And I'm going to put Harry over here. And so we're going to go to the overhead, and I'm sorry we can't do it with um, Instagram, but I'll, but I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Somewhere I trim this. Ah, here there we are. Is. So if you trim the hair, the long hair, off from the edge of your, of your piece, of whatever you're making, then, and I'll, I'll cut a little more. This is really messy, but you can cut maybe 
a quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch cut it right off of here so that then you end up with a piece of fabric to work with and if you did that all the way around which way I'll go this, this way. way if you did that all the way around whatever piece you're sewing together then when you sew your two pieces together all of the you don't see the seam at all you just see you just see the fur coming up like that and then all the the long hair is not stuck down in that seam mm -hmm. it is kind of messy <laughs> but but anyway it's kind of like when your husband trims his mustache over the sink. <laughs> and then you're sneezing for the rest of the day. Yeah. It's like, excuse like, me. Look at all that stuff. Uh -huh. Anyway. Anyway, this is kind of fun. It's fun to play with. And we have a free PDF download for a shawl, right? Mm -hmm. a, fur, a fur shawl. Mm -hmm. And it would work perfectly with these, with these furs. Yeah, that'd be nice. And when you cut it shorter... I know you said it would be for a skunk, but when you cut it oh. shorter, it could be for like maybe like a little pipe piece of a panda bear. Yeah. Or it changes it, it completely. It does change it. Yeah. I mean, I can't think. what What's black and white? Um, I mean, I can only Zebra. think of stuck on skunk now. No, I know. <laughs> I'm stuck on skunk. <laughs> but isn't that cute? <laughs> you know, Halloween is coming up. That's true. That's so cute. Anyway, the other um, thing. Holly, uh, yeah. Holly's got a little tidbit. She yeah. says, I trim fur seams with an electric clippers. Oh, oh. That's a great idea. She's from Bryan, Texas. Holly Van, Van Water. Well, I knew there are people that do a lot of uh, stuffed animals and know a lot more than I do. I just was going back to what I remembered mm -hmm. when I sewed that. But that's a great tip. Um, sewing with trimming with uh, electric clippers. That's Kristen says maybe a raccoon. Oh, oh yeah, that's that'd true. Be cute. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So Abby D. Wilkinson started, um, did these little bears, mm -hmm. um, and this one is oh the, right. That's right. Is the is this one right here? If you can see in the picture, it's this one. Isn't that cute. I'll little, hold that up, and you can pull up some of those other colors. They're um, sailboats. Yes, and it's called Sail Away, and they're, they're quilting cottons by um, Liberty of London. And so we didn't have all these options when, when Abby was making them, but she got some cute things. This that. one is, and that it's kind of like new. a, not, it's not yellow, it's um, mustard. Mustard, yes. And yes. yes. That's pretty. Do some close -ups? Is, oh yeah, we um, can do close-ups. We'll do, we're going to go to the overhead and do some close-ups too. All right. So do you often see that? Move that or... So there's like mm -hmm. little sailboats, a um, couple little flowers, there's some butterflies in there. It is so pretty. It there's little pretty. fish. It is so sweet. Um, but this, this one's my favorite. Maybe. I kind of like that green. <laughs> that, gr that green down here. Let's mm -hmm. see. It's the, the colors aren't as yeah. perfect on the, on the overhead. They want to know the name of the fabric. They want to know the name. The name, this is called Sea Life. And um, Emma will put links to all of these. Mm -hmm. So this one's called Sea Life, and the color is E. Oh. This one's Sea Life, the color is D. The yellow, or mustard, is mm -hmm. Sea Life C. And the blue is Sea Life B. Yep. So probably if you search for Sea Life, you can bring them all up. Um, right. Like, yeah, is, the yeah. search would definitely bring them all up. Yeah. Okay. We can poke back to one. Yep. There we go. There. Yay. Anyway, so cute. Well, the other thing I was thinking about when um, when Abby was making the, these out of quilting cotton, I remembered when I was uh, I, I used to make a lot of pillows, and um, and so I would make my own pillow form and stuff it. And sometimes I think, why is this so lumpy? And then like some stuffed animals too, mm -hmm. you can if you make them out of thinner fabric and stuff it. It feels a little bit lumpy. It was hard mm -hmm. to get it really smooth. And then I remember what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, well, what I did, because I didn't have any iron-on fleece, is I, I always had batting. And so I would use, um, this almost feels like an iron-on batting, but I would use a batting, and I would actually sew it to the inside of my pattern piece, like my pillow piece. Mm -hmm. And But then I thought, well, hey, we've got... Um, fusible fleece mm -hmm. 
and so this is fusible fleece it's thinner and i'm not sure i might love it as much as the way the batting mm -hmm. worked but we're going to try it. right diana and i are going to do a little <laughs> we're going to do a little test and so we happen to have these these are 14 inch finished uh they're like they're per kale and i think they're on sale for a dollar 99 they're, they're sewn all the way around 14 inch and then they have an opening to stuff it so if you just stuff that and and we're going to try it with with batting and without batting so if you just stuff that it might feel a little lumpy mm -hmm. and um so we're going to try it but anyway because i didn't feel like stuffing just for the fun of it 14 inch pieces i thought well how can we cut that down so i turned it inside out and I'll, we'll go to the overhead on this too. And I actually, I, am gonna pull that down here. I, I drew a line, um, I took two inches off um, the one side and two inches off the other side. And then I made that my seam line. And so I came back and I sewed here and here and then cut that off. And then I have a 12 inch, then I have a 12 inch square. And so Diana has one that all right here we go so this one has the this one has iron on fleece on the back and it is a little stiff so i don't know how it's going to stuff we're going to we're going to do it on live tv here we go yeah <laughs> and so diana's going to turn hers right side out I'm, i've already done that with mine so then she's going to turn hers right side out and we have a we have a poker to poke the what do we do with that poker? Our, our poker her yeah. handy dandy yeah to poke the corners out <laughs> and then we're gonna we're gonna see if it makes a difference there you go so we went digging around around here and we found some stuffing that's been around for a long time i'm gonna make you move down this way just a tiny bit see, I keep there we go it. yep see we love this this big old um <laughs> knitting needle works great for poking out your corners if you don't have your bodkin handy bodkin that's what yeah, i was trying yeah. to think yeah and you okay. can put a hole through that okay diana so we're gonna stuff so what stuffing you want to like poof it poof it up fluff it out and and it goes farther so i'm gonna be stuffing mine and oh yeah it makes it nice and smooth okay And like if you're making a doll and you have a little doll face you really want maybe to put interfacing on the back of that piece or something to make it make it look more smooth when it's stuffed i feel like i'm in science class and school <laughs> no, that's right I'm like, what's the results we're, we're almost there <laughs> we're almost there all right i'm not going to stuff it really really full but but I can Gives tell. you the idea yeah. of what. Yeah. yeah. You can see you that. Do the, yeah, we'll do the overhead. That. I mean, you can definitely see the difference. Yeah, this, it's hard to keep it from being mm -hmm. lumpy. Mm -hmm. And then this, if you had this as a pillow insert, mm -hmm. that would go right inside of whatever your, your you know, decorative right. fabric is. Your cover and piece. then it would, mm -hmm. then it would just be nice yeah. and smooth. And so a little bit of interfacing iron-on batting sew-in batting something to back your um cotton and, and then you're actually you don't use as much much stuffing either. right yeah so and this definitely has more i mean i know you can more body see it. to it more body uh -huh. more structure yeah like if you want those clean lines on your pillows like yeah, on that, your that's sofa right. that's right i like a crisp clean mm -hmm. line this i would definitely yeah. would that's be good. my choice here so that right. really makes a difference. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do this. And anyway, trick on your sweater. Oh, and we have a long list. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots to get to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, you know, I love to I love to shop at thrift stores. Right? Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miss Sally and I like to save a penny. <laughs> that's right. I know I dropped a dime out in the driveway <gasps> yesterday. I forgot to go find it. 
You know where I'm heading after work. I, know. <laughs> I was afraid somebody got it. Any, anyway, <laughs> uh, th look at this cute sweater. I, I found this at the thrift store for two fifty, mm -hmm. and it's a Talbot sweater. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put this on today. But the neck was like way drooping, way way mm -hmm. down, and and so I I felt the little the little binding right here, and I thought. Hey, that's open all the way. That's like a casing. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> her little trick. Yeah, I I took my little pointed scissors and cut a hole right here, mm -hmm. and cut a hole right here on the inside, and I threaded with my bodkin. Uh huh. <laughs> I threaded a piece of three eighths inch elastic all the way through, mm -hmm. and it holds it up nice and straight, mm -hmm. and then just whipped it closed. Yeah. And it so, looks like it looks really, really nice. See it, no, right? you, you can't. can't. Really see it. No. Mm -mm. So anyway, that was her trick for this morning. <laughs> that's my trick. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid to to um to buy something that needs a little help, and you can yeah. get it at a mm -hmm. cheap price. Yeah, I'm kind of cheap. Yeah. It, well, when you see those like you know designer pieces, right? When, like I'm, when I'm out junking, yeah, and when yeah. G's out junking, those designer pieces you can that's make right. them to accommodate your size, that's which. Right. That's I thought right. that was a great tip this yeah. morning. So, so if I ever learned to sew, well, mm -hmm. you could do that. You could do that part. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the green dress. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there is a pattern that um, last week when when Kristen was here, I showed a vintage pattern. Oh man, Let's see if I have it here. Nope. Anyway, I've got it somewhere. I made I made the cutest little um, dotted Swiss dresses for Ella and Madeline a few years ago, and they had they looked like puffing strips across mm. here, and it was, they were so pretty. And wouldn't you know? I opened up my email, and this pattern this is a new pattern from Boo. This is a company Boo and Lou, and Kristen shared a oh, that's the cutest dress in. Um, um, the newsletter Letters this, this morning. morning yeah do you see that little girl with the little apple? apples yes, yes. if y'all yes. haven't opened up your newsletter yet oh, it is so you cute. got to see it it's mm -hmm. so cute mm -hmm. and this is called the wren and I'm gonna show up here you want to do a... yeah we'll do an overhead with so this is the wren and um, it's by boo and Lou and oh, man I couldn't believe it because this, this looks so much like the dress that um, I made for the girls, mm -hmm. and so so I, I bought the pattern, and then um, and I thought, well, all these all these little these little strips right here, they're actually sewn into. Yeah, let me let me do it this way. They are these are actually pieces sewn in. They have seam allowances on them, and I thought, all right, I got to figure out an easier way to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I'm working on an easier way to to um, that can even go on the floor. Yeah. So here we go. With <laughs> I took the pattern. I I took the pattern and and I thought, all right, what if we just cut it apart and we gathered up? This is this this wonderful bobbinet stuff right here. And what if we and and I got that trick from that idea from Joe Rosdick. Yes. And Joe was here um, last week with a she paints on fabrics and they're wonderful. I think I've I think I have it right here. Okay. So she used our green bobinet and and I thought, hey, this mm -hmm. is this would be really pretty in this um it's called blossom or something. It's called blossom. Mm -hmm. It's called blossom. And so I have two layers of the netting, and then I, I marked it with my blue pen. I marked the center, and then I marked, you can see on here, I marked the the center, and then I divided that in half, and then I did the same thing with with the netting. And so I did, I gathered it up across the top, the center, and the bottom. And this is a work in progress, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm gonna sew it to, Sew it to a bodice. The bodice, the the underneath fabric is going to be five ninety nine um, imperial broadcloth, and then I'm going to have the overskirt out of this netting too. 
so that'll be will be a real gathered skirt and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the wren and so I just used the lining pattern piece and I actually cut a yoke and and when you cut when you cut a pattern piece apart you have to add seam allowances to the top pattern piece and the bottom pattern piece to make it fit and so I did it wrong the first time <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I had to fix it but I'm excited about this and so anyway maybe on Friday I'll be able to show it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. And so then instead of um, inserting pieces of fabric here, I thought we, we can go to the overhead on this. This is a Swiss beading. And um, let's see. Okay. You could move me where we need to go. If I sew that Swiss beading across the garment and threaded ribbon through. Let's see. Yeah. Threaded ribbon through here. And then did it where it hits the skirt and then also where it hits the bodice i think it's going to be so cute mm -hmm. jeanette's loving it she says pretty so far sally no. thank you i'm excited about it i love this netting and the nice thing is it doesn't shrink because it's polyester and um yeah playing around with it so this this is my work from yesterday and today <laughs> <laughs> anyway Friday it's gonna be amazing see if I say Friday I hold her to well, it well well the thing is I really wanted to do it by tomorrow because um, because we're we're having a photo shoot tomorrow and I thought oh, I want to get it done mm. for June by tomorrow but I still have Andy's dress to finish right. so that's that's my number one priority yeah. and then I did see it'd be pretty with this mm -hmm. this is Charlie's Charlie's dress back here and I think that would be really pretty with a blossom. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Kristen said, cannot wait to see the final product. Oh, good. Hey, Kristen. That's our Kristen, right? Is that our Kristen? No, Kristen, oh. D-E-M-Y-A-N. Oh, Damien. Oh, okay. Another, uh, another. it's a K I know, Christian. I thought it was our Kristen, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And Cindy Busman says, going to be so gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited about it, but I'm really excited that there is a pattern with that look because man I love that little pattern <clears throat> this is <coughs> 18 months to um, 14 years and they want to know how, how you um, going to sew the beading to it. oh how am I going to uh, sew the beading I'm actually going to um, I'm probably going to turn the edges under which I just did like this and you do a close yeah we can do a close up I'm probably then <coughs> going to just sew straight through these little holes, these little entredeau holes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to zigzag it or anything. And I won't sew it to the bodice until I have the bodice um, sewn to the, to the, um, the bottom part of the yoke, the bottom part of the front, um, until I have the yoke sewn to here. Gotcha. whatever this thing is <laughs> <laughs> and then when, when I have the the front sewn to the skirt front and back I might go all the way around with this at the waistline with maybe a pretty little ribbon mm -hmm. going down the back something like that and this is a ivory color I, I laid a white on it and a white just looked terrible on this peachy pink color yeah. so someone said earlier they like the puffins so you could call that your puffin piece that's right. Oh, this is my puffing piece. This piece here, I know. Puffing, I like that. You know, I've never done puffing strips, and people do puffing strips in heirloom, but I, I did try because I've heard people say they mark their halfway, their quarter way, and and I tried to do that so that I could line my blue marks up and try and get them as even as possible. But it was kind of fun, and and it's, it was fun to see it come together. I, I did, yeah, this yeah. is going to be anyway. I I love this pattern gail i don't know gail's last name um is the designer of this with boo and lou and so it's the wren it's brand new oh you know what gail dix gail dix mm -hmm. and emma i think told me somebody told me that it's on sale this mm -hmm. seven dollars oh. 746 so it's on sale so rush on over to boo and lou b-o-o -O and lou l-u mm -hmm and get yourself a wren and there there's also a baby size under 
It's like still got the overhead on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Whoops. So there's also there's also a smaller size than this that goes up to I don't know how this twenty it goes up to two size two or something. And I I thought well, all my babies are almost mm -hmm. out of that. Older so, that, yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'm it's newborn to two. Newborn to two. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want to do on for the sleeve is like. Um, Joe Rosdick did on her little sleeve with that little green and I think I can do it after I finish the whole dress you guys can tell me what you think I can finish the whole dress she had so it was full there was a fold here maybe that's even double I don't know because it looked like maybe that's four layers this is so thin so she it was on the fold and then that's gathered up like this so the folded part is facing the the body mm -hmm. and then this hangs loose and it's just trimmed and that's all and then there's a pretty little I don't know like a little floral trim or something going or going around here I have to do so it's going to be the cat part mm -hmm. here the mm -hmm. floral trim and yeah. then the sleeve yeah yeah because I think that would be sweet hanging mm -hmm. off her little arm mm -hmm. I love that that's gonna be cute I love it. Says she thinks she can do that after. I think oh. I'm good. I think so too. I think finish the whole thing and then sew that top stitch mm -hmm. that on. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking through my sewing project with y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. I'm threading elastic through the bunny. Are we doing the employee stuff? Employee stuff. Employee stuff. Yep. Okay. Because we did all we did all the other. Okay. Okay. So Diana has been working on this for me. What what is it, Diana? So this morning, Miss Sally always likes to surprise me. Guess uh, what? Do you want to be my surprise guest? Yeah. Guess what? This is what else we're doing. Guess what, Miss <laughs> Sally? It's like, hey, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. So she said if we all picked out some type of fabric, and I need the pattern. So Diana gave the pattern. I know it was over there. Diana, uh, Diana, Emma saw it. It's got to be over there. Uh, something you saw one, right? Or did you take it with you to find to get I yours? I did, but it is now with mine, which is I see. Oh, so I won't. I won't look. <laughs> I'm supposed to. I'm gonna guess who selected each of these fabrics. Emma, the, I don't see it. This is. Tell her to go right or left. Tell her she's hot or cold. I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> Emma, I do not see the pattern. This. I this. Th um, Diana gave every employee. A um, collars, etc. Hannah's sundress pattern, and they were to pick out a fabric that um, they thought would be really pretty, making um, Hannah's sundress. And so, man, this is pretty. So it looked like they picked out lining. I'm going to show you this. This is gorgeous. This is kind of a peachy. Peach. Oh, it's called peach froth. Oh my goodness, I love this. So this would be the this would be the outside part of um, Hannah's sundress, and then this is the lining, and this is Pima Cotton Batiste, and the color is nude, and it has just a hint, just a hint of peach in it. Just, I mean that that's perfect underneath here. Look at that. Okay, there we go. So Hannah's sundress from Colors Etc. 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 We'll show you that. Okay. Anybody have a guess who might have chosen this? I know I'm supposed to guess. Do you, yeah. have, the, do you have the cheat sheet? I do. <laughs> Actually, I know who did this one. You know, did you do this one? I did not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that means she's on another one. Um, <laughs> are you are you process of elimination? Yes, process. Of, that's like oh, she, playing she, cards. she just <laughs> cheated, and I just realized it. I caught on to it, Diana. Oh, it. Man. It like, and this was here before before Emma came in. But who else picks out heirloom? Hope did this. Christy, no? Christy Newsom. Oh, I don't know. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, yeah, tell me. Okay, this was Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. Oh, I'm so surprised. And on the pattern, she said, you know, you could either do sleeves or not without the sleeves. But Ariel said, this might not hold up to make the sleeve. That'd be pretty, though. The little flutter yeah. sleeve. But 
I love I this. It, it makes pretty? me want to sew it. Okay, th this is beautiful, you guys. This is an eyelet, like a eyelet chiffon. Oh, mm -hmm. man, that's, that's a great comment. Okay, Ariel, I know you and Ariel are off the list now. <laughs> <laughs> cheater. She's a cheater. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Oh, that's purple flowers. Let's see. She'll know this one right away. I will? Yeah. And you see all the detail that goes into it. Detail, detail. That's got to be hope. It's hope. It's hope. <laughs> That's hope. That's hope. Yes. Oh, yeah. and then all the look at the floss and the oh the ribbon color is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so this is ribbon color number thirty-eight, and look at those floss yeah. colors. She's been picking floss for um, kits. Um, so here. what? Are, oh, she's doing the embroidery. embroidery. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So she's using white for the bodice, right? And then, oh my goodness, way to go, Hope. Yes, the mm -hmm. bodice is the pink. Okay, this is Batiste. your idea. This is your idea day, everybody. <laughs> wow, I love that. I know it's so sweet. You know what? We're gonna have to kit some of these up. This would make a beautiful kit. That this is. One right here. Yes, I love that. All right. So what do we have next? Oh, this is going to be fall. Okay, we're doing. Oh, well, no, that's. I was thinking that was a flannel, but this is half inch black gingham. Is that black or navy? I think it's black. It's black. Yeah, half inch. Is that that's half, half inch black gingham? Would it be Halloween? No. Well, this person this. said it could be. Versatile. Oh, so, oh, okay. So you could run, you could run a different color ribbon through through mm -hmm. the beading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, see, I might have thought that. Um, did Heidi do this? Did you do that? No. <laughs> oh, you're running out of choices. Did um, so she said you you know the red for Christmas, yes. Thanksgiving, and yes. Halloween. Yes. So she picked the fabric with something that maybe you could. Right. change up a little right. bit yeah oh, i love that idea yeah oh man i i'm i'm really like Heidi. she said she not Heidi. I, yeah what about chrissy g oh i didn't ask you to do no oh, g didn't know. Okay. Oh, G. sorry g okay. yeah you got one more she's there. kelly yeah, there you go kelly. <laughs> kelly kelly does our this or that on uh mm -hmm. on our story so i'm not, i'm not surprised she picked out this or that, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now this is pretty. This is a plaid and a, oh, I like this. Okay, now tell me how they're going to make this. Tell me what goes with. Let me get my cheat sheet. Okay. Oh, so this is sunwash chambray. Oh, that's very pretty with this. And on the, on the pattern, it gives you, um, I know y'all know this, but I'm learning. Yeah. But it tells you broadcloth, linen, PK, chambray. You know, it gives you suggestions. Right, right. So with this, is this going to be the bodice? That would be the bodice. Okay. And then the, the skirt. Yep. This would be the skirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then look at the, the buttons are uh, wooden teddy bear There's. buttons. Oh, they're so And then cute. it kind of sort of oh. has like a Christmas it theme does. to it. So here so are, here's thought. another option. Mm -hmm. um, gingerbread houses. And they have a little bit of yellow. and. Mm -hmm. That's, did you do that, Michelle? I didn't do one. Oh, you didn't do one? Oh, man. Did Christy Newsom do this? Mm -mm. Did you do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this is pretty together. I think so. But I thought, you know, you could, again, like Kelly, you could either do back to school. Yeah. And then it kind of yeah. gave me like a little bit of a Christmas feel. It does. So these little Christmas buttons. got the buttons. little red and the. That's and we have tons of Christmas buttons up oh, there. Oh, we do. We gave away a hundred in one yeah. of our giveaways the other day. <laughs> but it's really hard to That's choose those cute. Christmas buttons. That's cute. Oh man. So now the next one looks heirloomish. This has got to be Christy Newsom. Christy Newsom didn't do one. Oh, she didn't do one. No. Oh my goodness. Who's left? Emma. Emma. Emma did this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was the last one. <laughs> Process of elimination. I think one more. There is one more. Oh, there is. Oh, okay, okay. 
Oh, I love this. I picked this. Did you? <laughs> I didn't, but oh my. So this is me. And Good. Is this you? The blue you is for my favorite oh. soccer team because soccer season, it's just started. So this That's is why she wonderful. Picked the blue. Soccer and heirloom. <laughs> oh, yeah, soccer and heirloom. That makes a lot of sense. Oh my but Sally, goodness. You've got to look at that precious button that I found. I could not believe how perfect it matched. It's sweet. This it is, is so beautiful as an overlay on this blue. So this is blue Imperial Batiste number 466. This is gorgeous with this organdy flounce. See how perfect that is? Oh, matches? wow. I know. These I are know. mother of pearl blue. Let's see if we can go to the overhead and get. These are blue dyed mother of pearl buttons. Oh, man. You know, they could, they'd be pretty right down the front yoke. Just boom, boom, boom. Donna Thompson said, great game. <laughs> uh, that is so pretty. I mean, they match perfectly, and they're so sweet, and they're so tiny I and know. Delicate. I love that. I loved any mother of pearl with a little carved edge. I, mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Oh, you know, Michelle does our digital design, so I'm thinking, Michelle... You better get ready. <laughs> you better get ready. Yep, all those together. Because these need to go and in, 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 in kits. These need to go in and kits. And somebody's already suggested one. Make a kit with the peach. So luscious. Oh, oh. I love that too. Mm -hmm. I lo oh, look. One more. Okay. I've got the overhead still on. Oh, oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay. Oh, this is a cute little print. Oh, now look at that. And with the, one of our little trims. Okay, this is, who's this by? This is a lawn, Robert Kaufman, maybe, or it's something the lawn on, on that bolt. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but this, yeah, this is Robert Kaufman lawn. Cute, cute little blue. Oh, and then they said this would be the... Let me see that handwriting. Oh, this is Heidi. Yeah. This would be the oh the little sleeves. ruffle sleeve, mm -hmm. okay. and then she said this okay. may be on the front. Oh, look at that! Mm -hmm. I guess I can't find my end, but oh my goodness, you guys, this is sweet with this. It's got a little. I don't. I can't get this stupid thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Sorry about that. I used to tell my kids, "Don't say stupid." And I'm like, "Mom, <laughs> mom, yeah." You want to get it? Over yeah, there? we can show that. So this is a little gathered. Um, we we have this is a trim that we that we have made. I can slide that this way if we need to. And it's a little bit of an ivory um, pico edge. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. All right, and there we go. So Hannah's sundress, spy collars, etc. In every option, <laughs> yes, imaginable, right? Yes. <clears throat> so anyway. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a drawing, and um, we had a lot of entries in this drawing. So oh, yeah. Is that, that, the, I oh, guess someone wants to see a close-up of that pink dress which, behind you. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, and we, we sold every inch of this fabric. Um, this is Charlotte by Bonnie Blue Designs. And when I make Charlotte... I actually, I mean, the front is cut a little bit lower than the back, but I, I actually cut it another, I don't know, at least, at least a half an inch lower. I like it to scoop a little bit. So that's what I did. And, um, that's what this little dress is. Yeah. We were limited on this. Or, yeah. We yeah. sold every, every yeah. bit of it. Somebody bought yeah. the last three and a half okay. yards. Yeah. This pattern is so easy to make. I love this pattern. I like easy and quick. Mm hmm I don't usually like to spend five days <laughs> figuring something out, but <laughs> oh dear, I just caught my ring on the hem. Wouldn't oh, you no. know it? Okay. <coughs> she said she really meant the other pink dress. Which one? What this one? Must be that one. Oh, Does she or mean this, this one. one or this one? Um, pink and white or the I'm pink? Not sure. Okay. Let's see. Tell us again. This is a vintage pattern, um, Liberty of London. And this is the only other pink, and this is a this is a little dress that I made for uh, Farron. Yeah, just show both of them. Yeah, is it this one? <laughs> yeah, I'll show this one. This is Shadow Stripe PK, and it's and it's um, accented with Liberty of London. 
trying to remember the name of that pattern because that's not a Bonnie Blue. Um, that, that's a PDF pattern and it had a hat with it too. And, and we're thinking about she might wear that in the in the um, pictorial so she, tomorrow. Yeah, the so shoot. Shoot tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? I'm going to throw it to Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing the drawing? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is, is it here? This oh, one? yeah. This is, this is it. And so we had... We had a whole bunch of stuff in here, including a couple of kits and pretty printed lawn. And so we had, we had a lot of entries. So let's see. Let's a see lot who, of entries. Yeah. And I see a lot of emojis with heart eyes. And oh, oh, oh. The lots. question that, that we ask is, do you sew over pins? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. 95% of you say that you don't. And I, I'm, I'm so bad because I'm in that 5% that I'm... That does. Yeah. I try not to. I really do. I, I try to slow down and pull them out. Sometimes I just get a little bit too far and then I then I try and walk it over. But let's see who won. Okay. Pamela Warwick Warren. Love your giveaways. I really enjoy Gab and Gush. Yeah, that's yeah. just something she tagged. All right. Pamela there Warren, you thank you very much. And um, a shout out to Diana. Oh, oh wonderful job. Oh, yes. thanks, y'all. That's right. Thank you. It was fun. Good. See? Yeah. Yeah. That was it. All right, y'all. All right. Thank you. We will see you whatever Friday. today is. We're going to see you the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.